So how can you tell the difference between, let's just say, a, a platinum plug from an iridium spark plug? Well, I like to start with copper because the copper is a big fat center electrode, right? It looks <laughs> like a pinky. <laughs> big fat center <laughs> electrode, right? Um, from there, then they become very small. Um, iridium is more like a fine wire. And the platinum is kind of a cross between a wire with a, a wider base. And I've heard you say sometimes it looks like a Hershey kiss. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And some of the manufacturers are getting pretty good. They're actually putting on the ceramic body of the spark plug. It'll say IRL for, you know, iridium, or it'll actually say iridium or platinum or double platinum. That's right. So there are some tail signs, you know, because I know not everybody's, you know, collecting spark plugs now currently right. or looking at the difference between those center electrodes, which you just you know, and, and, and a lot of the times, the color of the ink gives you a clue too, because when they when they when they type on there, um, where they mark the plug with a part number or an abbreviation or a whole word like platinum, mm -hmm. maybe it's a blue or a green ink. Same thing with the iridium. Not so much with the black ink, but I have seen black ink where they are. Iridium and platinum as well. But for yeah. the most part, the blue and the green ink are the precious metal plugs. Right. So what type of spark plugs is Noble 6 recycling currently? Well, we're accepting automotive spark plugs currently. Um, they need to be iridium or platinum based. The copper tips have no value, no recoverable value. So we ask that people keep those out of the mix. Right. And invariably, when, you know, we're talking about recycling and, and bins are laying around, sometimes, you know, uh, employees walk by and they toss trash in there and other scrap that doesn't belong in the bin. We, we ask to keep trash and other scrap items out. Um, <laughs> we've actually had a few drums show up here that had, a you know, maybe a gallon or two of motor oil in there. That yeah. doesn't need to be in, mixed in. No. That just creates a problem on our side. Right. And... Uh, yeah, we, we like to see that um, they come in um, whole and not partial. Now, why is that? Well, because, you know, this the system that we've developed um, is a um, – it's high speed. It uses vision learning, takes pictures of every single item that's going down the uh, material handling system. And um, so it recognizes what direction they are pointed in. And if um, – if there are a partial plug, the camera doesn't quite recognize the direction that the plug is pointed. And it, it, it needs to be cut in a certain direction. And uh, the robot can manipulate it 180 either way if it's proper or not proper. But if it's a partial plug, it confuses the, the PLC, the computer control system. And uh, so, so we need a whole plug. It's crucial to have It's the crucial whole to have a whole plug for the... Uh, for the vision learning system to um, do its job to then, work huh? properly. Yeah. 